There's a flashlight on it that I, ah, oh, and you can turn the brightness on. Oh my God, stop it. I'm not even gonna show him the gym shorts because Noodle also does not exercise. And I'm sorry if I've offended anyone with that, but you're gonna have to be better at making knives. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan. This sleepy king is Noodle. He's so special. This video is not about him, but he is incredibly special. And this is uh, Tools of the Trade, the show where we find out just what an entrepreneur needs to get through their day. Is it hard work? Sure. Is it hustle? You betcha. Is it a uh, brown sugar and chestnut scented candle? That's what we're here to find out. So this box I'm so excited uh, to open is from Tung Nguyen, who is a restaurateur and is the uh, owner of M. Tri Sandwich Shop in New Orleans. Something about Tung that I would never have been able to deal with is that he is one of 13. So his parents, who are also big in the restaurant industry, had 13 children. Now I have two siblings, and that is my quota. He had a baker's dozen, which is nuts but they're all into food. So growing up in this family of chefs and food, uh, Tung knew that he needed to open his own restaurant and he needed to share his, his family's recipes and the ones that he's developed with his community. One of the best things about New Orleans, I think, is that there is, it's such a culture clash. You know, everything's bold. I'm from Rochester, New York, and all we're known for is gonorrhea. And we're the murder capital of New York State. We're also known as the flower city. Anyway, I'm very excited to open this box because not only am I wildly inspired by the culture of New Orleans, but I love food. I love eating Vietnamese food. I love eating street food. I love eating sandwiches. I love eating anything. And I cannot wait to see what he has put in this box. So, before we get started, I want to take this time to address Noodle being the sweetest one more time. I don't know if you can tell, but he is perfect in every way. And this is his new bed, and he loves it. Okay, so this box. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. So there's something really incredible about seeing this in the box of a chef. So what I love about this is not only that I really do love this container of food, I have had these many times, and for those of you like me who, you know, tried not to spend a lot of money in college and were totally fine eating out of the microwave for a couple of years, this was a saving grace. This guy eats good food every single day. He makes good food every day with high quality ingredients, with exotic spices, with tried and true recipes, but then, he can also make this in three minutes. The next item we've got in the tongue box is, oh, a solar charger. This is a massive portable charger for like your laptop or your phone. Oh, and it's on and it's solar powered. But I also know that they get, oh, there's a light on it. There's a flashlight on it that I, oh, and you can turn the brightness on. Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> you gotta stay charged. What did you do, let your battery die? It's 2019, your battery can't die. What if one of your 12 siblings needs to contact you? He can keep taking photos of the food that he's making. Anytime he makes something, he goes, this plate is fire, takes a photo of it and decides he might want to use it as the actual photo for the menu or just post on his Instagram. I honestly think Noodle could use a charge. You think a light panel will absorb any rays? Oh, good morning, hello. It worked, it worked and now he's back to bed. Okay, I think it's a fabulous item. It very clearly works. It just resurrected him. We're all in the clear. Okay, the next item that we have in this box is, ooh, more than anything, I just see something that says, you deserve the best. And I really like that because I do. Are these shorts? Yep, these are shorts. As if sweating in the kitchen wasn't enough, it looks like this guy also exercises, which is something that I know nothing about. But I know a lot of people who, whether it's something they use just to keep grounded or to relieve stress or to just keep themselves healthy, exercise, whether it's at the morning or the night, is something that they absolutely swear by. And I can imagine that someone who has a life as stressful as Tung does, and it comes to actually not only owning and operating a restaurant, but expanding and opening a sandwich shop as well, I can imagine and he has to relieve a little bit of stress. I think what he does is he goes on a run, he holds his charger high above his head, so it charges, and he gets home, eats his noodle bowl. I 
think that's how this works together. I think this is brilliant. And Noodle, I'm not even gonna show him the gym shorts because Noodle also does not exercise. The final items we have in this box are Swedish House Mafia and Alesso. Are these DJs? This guy operates a restaurant and he wakes up every morning and kickstarts his day with a full EDM set from Ultra Music Festival. I think that is hysterical. I think it's brilliant. He also said that this is music that they play when they're actually cooking in the kitchen and that it helps set the entire line in a really cool groove. And I love the idea that you just like walk by the kitchen and you just hear house music bumping in the background. That's something that I would go and I'd be like, I'm in the right place. These are people who know what they're doing. And I'm not just talking about the chefs, I'm also talking about Swedish House Mafia. I lied, this was not the last item in the box, we've got one more, and it didn't fit in the box because it's this. It's a slew of knives! I know what you're thinking, he's a chef. I'm sure these are what he uses for cooking. It's not true, he's a murderer as well. So this has got everything that you need, they're fully forged German steel knives. If there's anything that I have learned about knife engineering, it's that you want to trust the Germans or the Japanese. And I'm sorry if I've offended anyone with that, but you're gonna have to be better at making knives. And this is great if you are an at-home chef or you own a massive restaurant where you're cooking for scores of people or you're cooking for your family of 15 or you're just cooking for yourself. It's really important to make sure that you have the right tools. And I think that every entrepreneur who's looking to pursue their dream or is looking to build a business or is just looking to get started and see what they can accomplish, the first thing they have to realize is that you need to feel okay investing in the tools that you need to get the job done. I'm so excited by the things that are in here. You can tell he's a chef, right? This guy likes to cook. And I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys. If you liked this video, please uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to ring the bell to get a notification every time a new video goes live. We have tons of content just like this on our uh, uh, YouTube channel. For Noodle, for myself, honestly, and for the Swedish House Mafia. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode and we cannot wait to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.